What we learned from last night's press conference is there are still no suspects, but they have ruled out the roommates who were not harmed, uh, the guy who drove them home, a guy in a white hoodie picked up in the food truck video. It, and they, they're telling us who they don't think it is, but they don't seem to be any closer to who they think it is. We do not believe the following individuals are involved in this crime. The two surviving roommates, a male seen at the grub truck food vendor downtown, specifically wearing a white hoodie, a private party who provided uh, rides home to Kaylee and Madison in the early morning hour of November 13th. One of the phones, uh, one of the girls was calling, or somebody from that phone was calling the ex-boyfriend multiple times. I think it was seven times, which shows that they were alive at that time. Investigators are aware that multiple phone calls from Madison and Kaylee's phone were made to a male subject. But what does that tell you? Right, between 2.30 and about 2.52, uh, Kaylee was calling her former boyfriend, longtime boyfriend, mm -hmm. the parents vouch for him. Absolutely love Jack. We stand behind Jack 1,000%. Jack was Kaylee's boyfriend for many years. They just recently broke up. There was no animosity at all. It was a breakup on Kaylee's point. It was not, they still talked every single day. Kaylee just thought that she needed a little break. They were on the mends of getting back together. Kaylee talked to Jack the whole time. She was here for that week and a half. Um, one been, of her messages, one of her last messages, she reached out to Jack and said, Jack, get back to me. And he didn't. She goes, we share a dog together, which they did. She's like, you need to reach out to me. So Please come over. She was wanting Jack to come over. There, Jack is, um, is, is not... Um, they're wasting their time with Jack, and, yeah. and, and Jack is just as distraught as we are. Um, Jack is our family. Jack is 100%, 2,000% our family, and Jack is with us, and, and we stand behind him 100%. We are supporting him, and we know in our hearts and our minds and our souls, in the depths of our souls, um, Jack is hurting, and, he, and, and, and Kaylee... And Jack would have eventually been married. They would have eventually been married, and they would have eventually had children together. So to say ex-boyfriend, it, 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 it was Kaylee just being a brat, you know, being like, I just need a break. But Jack was in her heart, and, and, and they, they, they were close to getting back together. And that was just Kaylee being Kaylee. So absolutely, um, Jack is, no. We, we, we don't think he's the suspect. At all. Wow. Kaylee was calling her former boyfriend, longtime boyfriend, mm -hmm. the parents vouch for him, uh, seven times. And in fact, her friend Maddie also called him three times. Mm -hmm. So, you know, are these girls drunk? They're not texting, mm -hmm. they're calling. Mm -hmm. His story is he's asleep, he's not getting the phone calls. My question is, did they leave voicemails and what do those voicemails mm -hmm. say? Why haven't we heard about this? Uh, the police were asked directly, is that ex-boyfriend a suspect? Mm -hmm. And they simply said they looked into the phone calls and it was cleared and they didn't think there was a connection, but they didn't rule him out. Hi, Christina Corbin with Fox News. Um, the male subject whom the women called, um, has he been ruled out as a suspect or person of interest? Everything that we uh, have taken from, the, from those calls um, we have followed up on, we've cleared, and, and we um, believe that uh, there's no connection there. Hey, what's up, Addicted Mel? Welcome back to the channel, and thank you for stopping by. Make sure you check out the live stream that we have coming up on Wednesday with regards to the new press conference. I'll put the link in the comment in the description. Now, a couple of things to talk about with regards to this press conference and information that was clarified and has come out. With regards to Jack, okay, there was a lot of confusion, and there's been talk because the whole Jack thing, well, there's multiple Jacks. And one of the videos that Inside Edition did with Kaylee's sister, Olivia, they had mentioned Jack in that conversation, the multiple calls that we've all been talking about. I'm gonna play a snippet, but these calls don't necessarily have to be anything nefarious. And we were all confused and wondering which Jack, and I guess it was the ex-boyfriend that they had broken up temporarily. Also raising questions about why her sister called a young man named Jack multiple times the night she was slain. At 2.26 a.m., Kaylee starts to call Jack. Kaylee calls Jack six times between 2.26 a.m. to 2.44 a.m. Now, Maddie called as well, we found out after, and the family, mom and dad, Kaylee's mother and father, back up Jack a thousand percent. And they also mentioned, if you heard them say, they're wasting their time. So I guess police were looking into him. It was kind of 
you know, wondering what's going on with that. And then there's a post by another sister, Autumn, that defended Jack. And so somebody had made a post under, I guess, a picture and it said, must have been this guy. And Autumn replies back, one of the stupidest comments I've seen, a photo of my sister smiling with a boy she dated for six years and you accuse him, pointing the finger, S-I-M, the entirety wrong direction. Jack has nothing but love for Kaylee. You know, when I look at Jack D, the ex-boyfriend and his stature and, and every just given in context the information we've been giving, it's hard for me to imagine this person pulling this off or doing these atrocities that have happened. And it could be somebody completely random. Maybe it's nobody that's even been mentioned. Maybe it could be a random person or somebody in the outer circle stalking, which by the way, there was that stalker mention that Kaylee supposedly had. You know, we haven't even really looked at the other side where Zana and Ethan were at this party. Could have been anybody from there. But the demeanor from Olivia in that Inside Edition uh, interview, I was kind of confused by that because she seemed to be confused about Jack when, you know, the family knows and everybody seems to know who Jack is. I almost took it as she didn't even know who Jack was. Just the way the video was edited, because apparently there was more to that interview uh, it seemed like it was almost like, who is this mysterious person, Jack? When the family is like, Jack, we back him a thousand percent, Jack D, the ex-boyfriend of Kaylee. So I don't know. But besides that, anyway, I'm just giving the context and hopefully those clips put that context together of everything that's been kind of happening in the, in the confusion. But now cops are saying in the press conference that those calls, they've looked through them, which the verbiage is kind of weird. And so people are still saying this guy, Jack D, hasn't been cleared. It seemed like to me they just cleared the calls particularly and that maybe he was sleeping, but it the, the reality is I don't know, you don't know, we don't know who is involved. And the verbiage was weird. I, I Maybe the police are trying to be careful about how and what they say, obviously. In one of the newest posts, which we're about to get to, they said at this time in the investigation, detectives do not believe any individual at the residence when 911 was called is involved in this crime because a lot of people are thinking maybe it's a 911 caller, maybe it's somebody in the house, maybe it's one of the people that came over to the house, which we're going to get into. And then in the previous post, the police had said that at this time in the investigation, detectives do not believe the following are involved in this crime. So they specifically said two surviving roommates, mail in the grub truck surveillance video, or private party driver who took Kaylee Madison home on November 13th. This is why the media, and I was talking about this yesterday in the live stream, that they haven't specifically, for whatever reason, it seems like, though you could say there's argument and debate online that that statement that police made regarding 911 calls clears him out of the way. Everything that we have taken from, the, from those calls, um, we have followed up on, we've cleared, and, and we um, believe that uh, there's no connection there. There's just so many other potential factors that we don't know it could be so many other who knows who else you know but jack s i'm showing this character list because there's a lot of confusion he's the white hoodie guy that specifically police went out of the way and said nope we've spoken to him jack d is kaylee's ex-boyfriend jake s is maddie's boyfriend which this guy was in boise he was like five and a half hours away at the time and jack k which all he did was just um start to go fund me and Ethan, I guess, had sent some money to start a GoFundMe or something like that. Was there someone there other than the two roommates when police responded to the home? So will you clarify that for me? You're, you're, not, you're not confirming a roommate called 911 that they used the roommate's phone. So was there someone else at the home other than those two roommates? There was other friends that had arrived um, at the location. How many? How many? Everybody made a call. Honestly, I'm not quite sure at this time, to be quite honest. So with regards to this 911 call with the roommate's cell phone that was made, and they released updated information yesterday. It says detectives are releasing that on the morning of November 13th. The surviving roommates summoned friends to the residence because they believed one of the second floor victims had passed out and was not waking up. At 11.58 a.m., a 911 call requested aid for an unconscious person. The call originated from inside the residence on one of the surviving roommate's cell phone. 
multiple people talked with 911 dispatcher before a Moscow police officer arrived at the location. Officers entered the residence and found the four victims on the second and third floors. So some of my final closing thoughts, one again, no witch hunting people. It's one thing to talk about something and then it's another for people to go out and start harassing people and accusing people. Um, and so, well, the whole thing with the roommate's cell phone being used by somebody else other than them to make the 911 call. I've heard a lot of plausible or I've read a lot of plausible theories on Reddit. Maybe they had just come up the stairs. They see somebody laying down, laid out. They couldn't see everything. Maybe they were freaked out and scared. Maybe a door was blocked. I, I don't know. Like who knows? It could, there could be so many possibilities as to why it wasn't the roommate that made a 911 call. Maybe they just called friends. Maybe they thought somebody was just, they needed some help. Maybe somebody had, you know, drank too much or OD'd or, or who knows? It could be anything. And they called friends for assistance, you know, and then maybe the friend decided from there, you know, there's somebody unconscious or somebody passed out. We don't know what's going on. The other thing too is the calls that Kaylee had made and then Maddie, I should say their cell phones, right? That were made to Jack. Well, I saw a interesting theory online that it could have been Kaylee making all the calls that maybe she had used her friend's phone because Jack wasn't answering to see if maybe he'd answer if she called from Madison's phone, which I read and saw somewhere. I remember where they, I thought they said that that wasn't out of Kaylee's behavior to call somebody multiple times until they picked up. It's kind of crazy. You know, if you listen to the parents interview, Kaylee's parents, you know, Kaylee was in the process of moving, I believe to Texas, she had finished school, I believe. And so she had this trip planned in January and in February, that new job in Texas was starting. So, you know, and she was there just going to show her friend Maddie her new vehicle. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and make sure you set a reminder for the new press conference on Wednesday. Peace. Bloop, bloop.